Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Truth Be Told. I pray that you are well today. I pray that all is well in your home and your soul. And I pray that God just has, that you have a revelation on how much God loves you. And that you are his child. You are his beloved. You are fearfully and wonderfully made in his image. That before the foundation of the universe, that God knew your name. I just think that's so amazing. I pray that you meditate on that today. And whatever it is you're facing, I pray that you let it go and give it to God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So I want to ask you a question, y'all. I want to ask, why do you pray? Why do we pray as Christians? And I sometimes, um, I bring this up because I think that a lot of us have a, a, the wrong conception of why we pray. Most of us pray out of religious uh, obligation, you know. And it's so funny because I heard Joyce Meyer said a couple years ago that, um, you know, most of us recite the, uh, our Father's Prayer, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We just rattle it off. But have you ever stopped and dissected that and just started to think about what it means, what each line means? Most of us just, we pray out of obligation, out of tradition. And I want to I wanna give you a different spin, right? I think that we miss the whole point of prayer. Prayer is communication. It's a relationship, you know with God. So I'm going to bring you back, all of y'all, I'm going to bring you back to when you first fell in love as a teenager or whenever, that first love. And, and man, come on, we were on the phone like hours. We wouldn't hang up like you hang up. No, you hang up. And you know, when you're married or when you're with that person, you literally, you do the stalker, you look at them, breathe, you just watch them. You just want to be with them because you love them. You want to spend time with them. If you have kids or grandkids, when you spend time with them, are you expecting anything from them? Absolutely not. Do you want anything from them? All you want is their time. All you want is their love. That's exactly what God feels. God loved you so much that he gave up his only son to be with you, to have fellowship with you. And that's all he wants from us, right? So I, I pray that you start to look at prayer differently. Uh, most of us uh, pray because we want or need something from God. And that's where it is. It, that's, that's where the extent of our prayer uh, we get a bad diagnosis from a doctor or we lose a job or we got something going on in our life, right? Because everything is a battle. I mean, we're either going through a, we're coming out of a storm, we're going into a storm, or we just, uh, we're in the middle of one. So, and we always call out for God and God is faithful to answer, right? God says um, in Psalms 50, 15, call upon me in your time of trouble and I shall deliver you and you shall glorify me. So I'm here to tell you that I pray that you decide to, to look at prayer in a different context today. One of the most amazing parts of our Christian faith is that we have God who bends down and speaks to our hearts. A God who promises to meet us where we are, to bear our burdens, to guide us, to protect us. And to love us and never leave us or forsake us. I mean, that's the God that we serve. I pray that you start to spend quality time with God. It's not about what we need because he's already given us everything that we're ever going to need, honey. Whether you believe it or not. There's a lot of things that we want. But thank God God doesn't give me everything I want. Because I don't even know what's good for me. But he does. So I pray that you trust him today. I pray that you lean in and you spend quality time with him today because he loves you. He's just waiting to spend time with you. He, You're his beloved. You're the apple of his eye. And I pray that you start to look at him that way because, my goodness, there's no greater love than the love that God has for us. I love you guys so much. I pray that you spend some time with our Lord and Savior today because ooh, he's worthy of all praise and all worship. He's worthy of all your time. I love you guys. I am on Worship Way. And hallelujah, Parkway, where you at? Holla.